He needs all of it here. A 50 yarder to win it. What's up, guys? Chaos here, bringing you guys another video. Today, I'm bringing you guys a great gameplay against my guy, Tweez. And no, it's not the game you guys are thinking of. Yo, like th this game is so gosh darn bad, bro. Oh my gosh. But in all seriousness, it's a great game. It's game two of the three games that I played against Tweez in the during the Madden 18 season. And the first one, you guys know what happened. I, I know, I know. The second game was really, really good, which is the game I bring you guys. And the third game, I actually blew him out. So we both had two blowouts, and uh, this was the the best game out of the, out of the three. It was a really, really close game. It comes down to the wire, and I think you guys are really going to be able to enjoy it. Plus, I think you guys are going to be able to learn from it. I make a ton of mistakes throughout this video. I really do. I'm going to pause. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to record over it, but I'm going to pause it a little bit. It's already pre-cut, so it won't be too long. But I'm going to pause it a couple times just at certain points where I feel like I really need to explain something. Maybe explain a mistake that I made, explain my thinking at the time. Something of that nature. So I think it's going to be a really great game. I'm not going to hold you guys too long, but I really would really, 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 really appreciate it if you guys would hit that like button for me, hit that sub button for me, and hit that notification button for me. That way you guys never miss a video and I can continue to bring you guys great content. I really appreciate it. You guys have been awesome with that. So please continue to do so. And let's jump into this video. All right, guys. So we give to give you. All right, guys. So just to give you guys a little bit of context here, it is game one of Madden 18 Ultimate League. It's not Madden 19, I know, but I promise you guys, you guys can really learn something from this. I'm gonna be able to help you guys with decision making, clock management, of everything that everything of that matter. Plus, it's just a really good game that you guys might enjoy watching and give you guys a little nostalgia. It's the end of the year. And uh, I don't mind going back to an old Madden, but I just want to continue this series of helping you guys learn with MCS Madden tournament games with lots of money on the line. It makes it an even better video for why I do what I do because it's just the pressure's on and it's a must-win game. So it's the first game of Madden Ultimate League, and I'll let this play now for a second. It's the first game, and that was a little bit unlucky for me, I felt like, to have to play Tweez. Going into it, no one really knew what Tweez wanted to do. They hadn't seen him play. He wasn't on salary cap. He wasn't on the boards. Uh, so I didn't really get to see what he was running and I have to and I had to kind of run into him I had to kind of run into him doing that and it was a it was a tough thing to play with just simply because If you don't know what someone wants to do you kind of have to learn it So as I always tell you guys this first drive is kind of a feel-out drive You're gonna want to see what they're doing see their tendencies see what formations they're in and at the time I was running dollar so if someone went to a smaller set or sorry, excuse me a bigger set like a like an I-form single back, something like that with out three wide receivers, I'd have to go down to 4-3 normal. And Tweez ended up mixing a lot of that in. He went to strong close a lot. And I left this in here just so I could explain that to you guys, as well as letting you guys know, always fix your line, uh, your your lineups. Sub in where you, the people that you want there. Make sure you guys set your audibles so you guys can flip between different plays whenever you have to, and you don't have to do it at the play call screen. That's just something that most players do now. But don't take it for granted. Make sure you guys are always doing that. And now we're going to jump into it for this first drive. I'm trying to figure out what he wants to do. We all had no idea going into it. By the end of it, everyone knew what he was running. And that's why the second time I was able to blow him out, there was a defense found for him, cover three cloud, which did a great job of shutting him down. However, that wasn't found yet. So I kind of had to do it on my own. So I come out in 4-3 normal, and he comes out running the ball at a strong close. Hadn't played a strong close really all year, so definitely was something that threw me a little bit off and he runs the ball twice and he tries to bomb me over the top with Tyreek Hill and I actually had a good defense at the time I had fast corners I had a uh, really good D lineman and we get a pick that's great but now that was a very short possession I didn't get to see much from him. and I'm going to come back to that later because that's actually going to really matter so keep that in mind I didn't get to see much from him it was a really quick easy stop I don't know 100% what he wants to do yet so I'm run the ball twice try to throw a fade and he threw a pick so I didn't really learn anything that drive but we got to stop so that's always big so vice versa now I need to figure out what he wants to do on defense and I and I need to kind of feel out what he's doing on that side of the ball didn't get to feel out his offense but definitely still want to feel out his defense and try to figure out something that I can be successful with as always on offense you want to, uh, in a, especially in a tournament game, you want to find a run that you're going to be successful with. We, I wasn't sure what to expect from him on defense, but I'm seeing 3-4 odd, so that's what he ended up staying in pretty much the most most of the game, and I'm going to do a good job against it. I'm actually going to really flourish. Uh, the only things I really struggled with out of trips at the time were, uh, excuse me, crossfire out of 3-3-5 odd and crossfire out of 1-4-6. Those two really gave me trouble, especially because you can go on aggressive. So I wasn't too worried about... Uh, 
three four odd now as as i said last video if you guys haven't seen that it was against mo another madden 18 game very good game as well i'll, I'll link that above but I was not flipping my trips during this time. I wasn't comfortable doing it. I got really comfortable doing it this year, and that made me a much better player. But without it, I kind of struggled to pass the ball when I was on the short hash, but I just didn't feel comfortable doing it, so I didn't flip it. You got to be comfortable in what you're doing. Even if something might be a little bit better, and you're not, but you're not comfortable doing it, you can't do it. So I didn't flip it, and that's okay. Now, I ended up uh, cutting right here. You're going to see maybe one or two other cuts. It's because there's another game going on, and they kind of flip back and forth. But you don't miss much, guys. You miss like a play here or there, and that's it. So don't don't like be too concerned about it. You're not going to miss much. You're still going to learn a lot, I promise. Right here, I thought I moved my deep third back enough, but that's Tyree Kill, boys. And he burnt right by me, and he got really unlucky right there. I'm not going to lie to you. He got super unlucky, but I won't make that mistake again. I knew that I could not. I could not allow him to beat me deep with Tyreek Hill. I was, that was one thing I was not gonna allow. I get a little lucky there, but now I learned something. I did learn something right there, and that's I'm not gonna give that up again. I'm gonna make sure I back my guy off farther, and now I know I just can't back him up a step. He's gonna get burned. So definitely learn something. You're gonna see me running the ball a lot early on. I told you guys last video, you need to find a run in these tournament games that you are comfortable doing. I know I, I started saying this earlier, but I kinda got cut off and sidetracked. You need to have a run that you can go to and you feel like you can get three, four, five yards from. It takes pressure off you from passing the ball, as well as on short yardage uh, downs, you're gonna try to get easy first downs. You don't have to stretch yourself out by passing. So you see me go to different runs. I've gone I've gone to inside zone, I've gone to draw, I've gone to base, and I hadn't really found anything yet that I was too comfortable in. Base is gonna be the one that I really, really, really start to like. And I'm gonna pause right here. I'm gonna pause right here. This is one of the sides I wanna get to. Let me get through this point. Then we'll jump back to this. You want to have a run, and I think base is going to be my go-to. And you also saw me run Z-Spot on that last drive. Z-Spot was my one pass out a bunch so that I could mix in the base without him super keying in on that run. You saw me had success with it, and honestly, I probably should have went back to it more. I had a little cloud flag glitch. If you drag the outside guy in bunch, Z-Spot was very, very good. Now, jump to this point here. We skipped over because cut, they cut to the other game. This is all you're going to miss for the rest of the game. The rest is on us pretty much the entire time. I got another stop. It was another quick one. He threw a deep pick. Okay, so now I've had, uh, what is it, three possessions against him. I had a pick in the first four downs, another pick in the first four downs, and a turnover on downs without getting a first down. I have not seen much of his offense. I don't really know what his tendencies are because I haven't gotten to see much. So that's going to hurt me later in the game. Now jump to here. It's a fourth and two, minute 20 left. He has no timeouts. And maybe you should argue I should kick it. I probably should kick it right here because of the way I've been playing defense. I have perfect control of the game. It's my ball at half. I'm already up 6 nothing. Why not make it two possessions? He probably doesn't score at least a touchdown before half. Maybe he gets a field goal. But I go into half 9-3 at worst probably. And it's my ball at half. I should be okay with that. But I'm kind of going for the kill shot right here. If I get this first down, he absolutely doesn't get the ball back. And that's guaranteed 9 nothing. Maybe it's 13 nothing. I go to pass right here, and you're going to see I do make a mistake, but he gets a crazy ball hawk. I throw to the post here. I'm just going to let you guys know I throw to the post. Probably This probably doesn't get a pick in Madden 20, but who knows. But you guys are going to see it, and it's the biggest mistake of the game. Easily the biggest mistake I make. So just giving you guys a warning on that. Sorry to skip around. I know that kind of pisses us off, but what am, what am I going to do? It happens. It doesn't happen too much so I can still bring you guys this game and that was to the post I don't know how it was so low you guys I don't want to see in the comment section nah that was to the drag I don't believe you I promise it was but oh well man big mistake I definitely don't regret kicking right there not kicking excuse me if I go up nine nothing I don't think I ever have a chance to lose this game I think I blow it wide open but he gets himself a free seven and now I kind of have to bounce back a little bit I'm obviously I'm upset about that who wouldn't be upset about that I'm gonna try I need just need to go make sure I get three points here and move on to the next uh, move on to the next half still my ball at half so I'm not in a terrible position I can go take the lead and still have the ball at half but it's not the it's not the domination it should have been guys with the way I've been playing and you're gonna see I go to back to base here just trying to find a run that I can be successful with three yards I'm okay with that as long as he's not hitting me in the backfield I go to base again. You don't want to play this stupidly. I didn't have any timeouts, so I didn't want to 
I didn't want to come away with any points. So I make sure I get my three there. And I found a run that I felt comfortable using and I think I could be successful with in the second half, which is base. And I told you guys that was an important component. So now you guys see I'm nine out of ten and I'm only up two, but next play here to start the next half. Uh I'm just trying to move the ball, continue what I was doing. I didn't have any trouble moving the ball in the first half. I got three field goals all off long drives. I just struggled in the red zone. If I could just find a way to punch one of these in for seven, I can blow this game open. If I go up nine, the game's probably over. Something to note right there, as you guys saw Brida on the run, I did not have a great running back, which is another mistake I think I made with building my team. It was Brida. I like to play on conservative, which is why I didn't have a trucking back. I never came off conservative. Ever, ever, ever came off conservative. So that's why I didn't have a great running back. But that's a regret I have because trucking was just so good. It was pretty stupid of me. Right there, I knew he was in cover two. He pretty much never came out of cover two. And let me pause here for a second because that was just a little bit of a cut. He never came out of cover two, so I just tried to hit him with a slant post and made him pick one because he never had a yellow. He pretty much sent six every play. And I could just pick between my drag, slant, or post, whatever. So that's why I went to that. Now, I kicked the field goal. I went up 12-7. He got an offside, which is why it's first and five. Well, I got an offside, excuse me. Now I'm thinking here, if I get a stop, this game is over. So I'm, But I still haven't seen what he's like wanted to do yet. So like I keep telling you guys, it was important that I got those stops early that I could not have pretty much any clue about what he wanted to do. And right on cue, he throws another pick. So it's like, guys, holy crap. I keep getting these stops, which is awesome. Like, you want to get stops, but I have no idea what he wants to do. And normally, if I could have just punched some of these into the end zone, I would be up like 28, 24, 7. It's fine. But I've kicked four field goals, and now it's only 12, 7. Now, I still have a chance to end this game, but, man, like, I could be blowing this game wide open. And I'm not because I'm, I'm kicking field goals, and it's going to come back to hurt me when I actually have to get a stop later on in the game because I have no idea what he wants to do. And right here, we just hit our drag and we fumble and as i told you guys i'm never not on conservative i fumbled three times in ultimate league all in one possession games on conservative so it's frustrating and this right here is when he gets rolling he hits his crosser eh, maybe could have been a pick but who knows and that was his first completion guys he was one for ten and it's still he's about to take the lead so it's just a frustrating game where i felt like i've owned it but this is where he gets rolling, and this is where it really comes back to hurt me. I'm telling you guys later in this game, when I don't really know what his offense is yet, like I know his formations, yeah, strong, close, but what does he do out of it? I didn't know. And he wanted to go to spread, but what does he do out of that? I don't really know. So this was also a big play, third and goal from the four. I have a spy, and he's able to get away and get three yards on it. That's frustrating just because if it's fourth and goal from the three, maybe he kicks, maybe he doesn't, but I think I get a stop. And I actually felt like I had toss defense, this was really good stick right here by him. But I actually felt like I had toss defense. He just got a fall forward animation from Henry. So it is what it is, man. Fact of the matter is I've played great O all game. He hasn't stopped me from scoring until the 20-yard line. Literally every drive I've gotten inside the 20-yard line, like 20 to 30-yard line. So I'm confident I'm going to move the ball. It's just can I punch this in and finally take a lead? And I keep moving the ball well. I'm just making good reads, moving the ball down the field. But if I can find a way to get seven, I don't think I lose this game. Ten out of ten times I think I win. We just got to find a way to do it. And go back to the draw there. I don't like that because I had success with base multiple times throughout the game. And he had blown up draw multiple times. But yet I go to it. Not a great call. But we're able to pick up eight on the next play. Just continuing to move the ball. Just keep making good reads. Right here, this was a huge play. I think Z-spot, 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 Z-spot. I don't call it. I called Z-Spot early in the game, and let me pause here because this is a big decision here. I called Z-Spot early in the game. I had a cloud flag glitch. He never came out of cover two. He always was sending six with clouds and a deep half and a user. And I just didn't call Z-Spot the rest of the game. I called it one time, and I gained eight yards to the flat. Bad call there to call base. He blows it up, and now I'm deciding whether to go for three or not. How can I not settle for three here? I've stopped him every drive. He got a pick basically down to the inch yard line to get seven. And I got a, he got a fumble on my 15 to get seven. Literally, like, he hasn't driven the ball. So I'm like, oh, my gosh, I want to go for it, obviously. But if I kick here, I'll probably get a stop. And this is where it hurts me, guys. I don't, want, I don't know what he wants to do on offense. So I'm going to have to just kind of play, my, play off my instincts. But it's not e that easy to do because I can't really adjust to anything I've seen because I haven't seen anything yet. Third and one here, big play by him. We have to find a way to blow up a run. 
and we do just that. I had a really good run defensive thing. I'm going to save it for you guys. I'm not going to tell you what the run defense was at the time, and this is a big play, so I'm going to pause it. I didn't, I'm not going to give you guys my run defense that I had, but I'm saving it for Madden 20 because I think it's going to be really good. I'm not sure if the manning up the safeties that I've done in the past is going to work, but this was something different. I had a good D-line, but I had another glitch, so I'm going to save it. Maybe it'll work, and it'll be a tip for you guys in Madden 20, but fourth and three, we know he's passing here, but we don't know what pass he's going to. He's called like three all game outside of just Tyree Kill on a fade trying to burn me. So we don't really know what his route combo is going to be. And he has a little glitch here. He's got a little low ball streak thing that he likes to do. And you guys are going to see this multiple times for the rest of his drives. And he picks up a first down. That was the game. If I stop right there, I kick my field goal. The game's over. But he's able to get he's able to get the first down. Now he's moving. He runs the ball a couple times. We blew that up right there. Did a good job. But he needs one dot. And here we go. It's that stutter fade. I end up the streak that time, the one that he lowballed before, and he lowballs the outside. It kind of glitches my cloud, and he gets in the field goal range. Now, I tried to ice him, but you guys saw right there that he audibled out. He, he uh, So he got out of it. He avoided the ice. He still misses the kick. So we're going to overtime, and you see me. I'm, whew, I'm like, gosh, dang, thank you. I have life. But he gets ball first. And he hasn't broken a single run on me all game. I've locked it up literally all game. And they decide to give him a 50-yard run with perfect blocking. The first time he breaks one all game. Tough break for me. Next play here. We have a zone right by his uh, low ball fade on the right that he threw before. And we blew it up. So now we're on a third and 12. And I'm going to pause it. This is my last time I'm going to pause it for the rest of the video. Third and 12. I call timeout. This is a huge play. He came on in spread. I wasn't ready. Or I, may, I messed up an adjustment, call timeout. This is overtime. You need to get the, your best possible adjustments on the field right here. There's no excuse for not calling a timeout right there if you don't have the right adjustments made. So that's why I called a timeout. And we need to make sure we get off the field. Now we stopped the stutter, like the little stutter phase that he was lowballing before on the play before when he went to strong close. So when he comes back out in it again, as he calls a timeout here, because he feels the same way. This is the biggest play of the game. You need your right play out there. So we both call timeouts. Just a pro, like a pro high level thing to do, get your right play on the field for the biggest play of the game. So we, we're going to do the exact same adjustments we did before against the strong close because it stopped the stutter fade before. And we're going to see what it does this time and see if it works out for us. So third and 12, biggest play of the game, and he, and he throws the other one. So he had a little glitch. I'm going to give him that. But here's the problem, guys. I didn't know he was going to do that. Maybe if I'd seen it in the first, second quarter because I didn't stop him in two plays. I would have been able to adjust to it, but I didn't have any time to. I only saw it twice in overtime, and we lost off it. Tough break for us. I'm not going to cry about it. <laughs> Pun intended, I guess, it for the for what happened before. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. Take it easy. Peace.